Good morning, each and every one of you broadcasting live from Mazatlan, Mexico. I'm Bill the Geek. This is the Bill Dallas Lewis channel, and we make videos about the joys of living in Mexico. It's 10 a.m. Central Time. We've got a bunch of stuff to cover today. A lot has happened this week. And we got we, we have a ton of stuff to share with you this morning. Let me say good morning to Rockport, Rockport Conch, who jumped right off and asked me, have I been to any magic cities? And in, in Mexico, they call them in Spanish, Pueblos Mag Magicos, Pueblos Magicos. And, and that's where the country gives uh the, the the Pueblo means town, actually, not really a city, but towns, these, these special places that have great architecture and magnificent history. Yes, yes, I've been to many. I've been to so many, I can't even remember. Uh, Lenora Wilson, hello, Bill, and everyone, hello to you, Lenora. Good morning, James, and everyone, we got... The very special, very lane. Good morning to you also. Good morning to each and every one. Uh, we have a lot to cover. We got a, we did a lot of interviews this week. Um, and, and sometimes my mind just goes blank. Uh, we put up a uh, Jack Webb. The famous Jack Webb is in <laughs> hazard, hazard. <laughs> That's... That's funny. Hazard, Kentucky. I've been there. Uh, I spent the night. I think it was at the Holiday Inn there. The Haz Hazard is in Kentucky. I think that's where the Dukes of Hazard was supposed to be. And it was a, you know, I was in a plane crash the night before we stayed at, at the Holiday Inn in Hazard, Kentucky. And to, 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 uh, to, to keep the remembrance of our experience, I stole the telephone book out of the hotel. And, and the telephone book was as big as a TV guide. <laughs> That's funny. Jacqueline from South Africa, now in Guadalajara, I think. Ola Jacqueline, always great to see you in the house. I hope that Guadalajara is treating you well. We got the one, the only... Uh, Brian Maiden in the house. I hear a little rain there. Hmm, there shouldn't. There's no rain today. We did have rain this week. In fact, the sun is out today. It's a. Uh, in fact, there are no clouds. But for the last two days, it rained all day for two days, which is pretty rare because it hasn't rained here in about uh, two or three months. But it rained for two days straight, and I I do want to share something with you that's that's kind of important. Um, uh, uh, one and 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 the Mazatlan uh, uh drainage system is really bad, especially downtown or in my neighborhood, which is in northern Mazatlan. It's called Sabalo. The, the streets flood. And my neighbor was saying, yeah, and the, and the, the flooding water kind of smells like sewage. That's because that's what it is. It is sewage. And you have to be very careful about that in Mexico because they'll have these big storms. And all of a sudden, the main streets have like six inches of water in them. And uh, my, when I lived in Puerto Vallarta, my, when I lived in Puerto Vallarta, one of my neighbors told me, yeah, be careful about walking through that water after a big storm because it is sewage and and it happened and I was walking through like six inches of water in uh uh in the in the romantic zone in Puerto Vallarta and and my toenails turned green for about three years swear to God and I asked my neighbor here in my building and she said the same thing happened to her so be careful about walking through sewage water in mexico when it floods because the stuff that you walking through ain't the right stuff to be walking through 
JLD, good morning from Chapala. I lived there for about four or five years. Welcome. And if you're new here, if you're new here and you have uh, things to say about living in Mexico, if you live in Mexico and you want to express your thoughts about the joys of living in Mexico, that's why we're here. And we have uh, from Columbus. Ola, it's snowing in Columbus. Oh, just uh, when I left Columbus, it was February. It was 17 degrees 18 years ago. I hit Puerto Vallarta and it was 90 degrees. Girl. Pack up your stuff. Just pack up one bag. Get on the airplane and come on down here. Live free. Brady, good morning from Chile, Springfield, Illinois. Great to see you in the house. Brady, Mary Jane. Do, 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 do. I'm in love with Mary. I can't sing the whole song. You know, Rick James really got off on that song. Randy Rudolph, good morning, everyone from Ahihik. I've spent a lot of time in Ahihik, great place. And Jane, Jamie Ola from Canada. And uh, Jamie uh, emailed me this week and asked me if he could chat and talk about. And Jamie, I just uh, emailed you back and said, hey, when's a good time? So let me know when is a good time. Like right now is not a good time because uh, I'm busy right now. Uh, oh, man, we got a bunch of people leaving comments. She thinks so. She speaks. Good morning, everyone from Care from Charlotte. Oh, yeah. Mountain goddess. Good morning, Bill, and everyone from St. Pete, Florida. Looking forward to Mexico. Come on down. Stephen Emo from, oh, from Moralia. And uh, Stephen, when I get there, we got the hook up. We got... Ola, Bill, and the squad. Beautiful day here in Lake Chapala. And I tell you what, Mexico is wonderful, folks. Gracias, gracias, gracias a ti. Gracias a ti, Ray Garcia, Henry Liston in the house. And my friend Chris, uh, we've eaten meals together, had long conversations. He's in the Chapala. Ahihik. And the one and the only crapo crapo dr john is in the house in pennsylvania with his grandkids great to see you here yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Stephen. i can't wait to get the, i can't wait i can't i tell you guys i can't wait i can't wait i think i'll write a song about that i can't wait Woo to move to moralia y'all didn't know i could sing did you I can dance, so I can sing, dance. I, I do everything. I play the flute. I'm going to do that one day. Okay, so uh, we had a couple of interviews this week. A couple of interviews this week. And, and again, if you're new here, uh, uh, this is a very loving group, a very open group. We're, we're sharing information about the joys of living in Mexico. It's a fabulous place. So if you're no, if you're new here, First of all, you want to click that subscribe button. Let me put up a little banner about that. There you go. Subscribe. I'll leave that up for a while. I'm, I, I hit uh, 10,000 subscribers, I think, around Christmas time. So we're headed to 20,000 subscribers. So click that subscribe button. And uh, what was I talking about? Oh, so if you're new here, you know, uh, let us know you're here. Let us know it's your first time. Ask any questions. Say anything you want. Uh, also, in the description below, you can find our new Facebook group. I think it's called Expats Living in Mexico, Bill Dallas Lewis. It's up to 120 members. I, I don't even know why I put the group up, but you know, you can exchange information about Mexico, ask questions about Mexico. I've been getting questions there. Uh, I put up some of my political perspectives there. Who, 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 who? So, uh, uh, but um, that's in the description below. Uh, last week, uh, we did an interview with uh, Dennis Gordon. It was a four-part interview. We put up part four of that interview because Dennis moved to. Uh, Portugal. He moved to Portugal and lived there for three months. And then he didn't like it. Uh, he found it kind of complicated. 
So he re, uh, re, uh, redeveloped his thinking process, and now he lives here in Mazatlan. But part four of that interview just went up this week. And then on uh, last Sunday, we put up a video about how to work remotely, how, how you can do it, how, how you can find a job doing it. And uh, let's cruise right on down. Here we got Crapo, Crapo, Dr. John taking up a collection to not encourage Bill to stick. <coughs> that was cold. That was cold blooded, Dr. John, cold blooded. But we thank you for your uh, contribution to the channel. Oh, you don't like my singing? That's all right. It's you're you're free. We're all free here. So we got forty five four and click the like button. Okay, so we do. Um, I went on a very special excursion this week. Uh, what, what was that? On Thursday. It was. I'm going to show you some video clips this morning that will rock your world. Uh, some of the clips may be disturbing uh but those are going I'm, I'm going to talk here just for a little bit uh and then we'll get into these clips i'll tell you what that's all about um oh, okay so uh and 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 a couple of people emailed me or called me and they wanted me to interview them and one interview the first one it'll be a two or three part interview is with a woman named Marsha Harrington. She's a soul sister in her 50s, living in Greenville uh, and uh, North Carolina from Denver, Colorado. She has an MBA, and she did her research. She's traveled in 17 countries on four continents, and and she's vibrant. She has an MBA uh uh, she has an MBA, very smart, very bubbly, and we kick off that first interview with her. She's going to talk tomorrow morning. That'll go up tomorrow morning around 9 a.m. Mountain Time. I guess that's around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You don't want to miss that. It's a hot interview. And then another subscriber, her name is Terry Don Marshall. She's incredible. Uh, but we, we did like an hour interview yesterday morning. I'll cut that into four or five parts. It's like, she talks about why she's moving to Mexico. She's doing a series of, on people of color moving to Mexico. And, uh, <clears throat> usually when I do interviews, I use, uh, uh, what's it called? Go to meeting which is, but this was my first interview where I use StreamYard. And right now I'm using StreamYard so I can click these different camera views and all that kind of stuff. I like that. And uh, Terry's all mic'd up real good. I'm mic'd up real good. And it's a good interview. I don't think I'll get to that interview going up for about 10 days because tomorrow I'm going to put up part one of Marsha Harrington. And then... I'm going to put up this video of the clips, these clips that I'm going to show you guys in a couple of minutes here. Now, Jack Webb, when we just spent, ah, we, when we just spent three weeks in Ahiheek, my wife worked from home, did all her cardi cardiology core measures for all our heart cath patients and Open patients from Mexico working from home is great. Uh, I, I'm telling you, man. I know people living. I, I and the video, the video covers it. How you can work online in Mexico? Why? Um, my, I've been working online for about 30 years now, and my and I've uh, I've sold all kinds of things. I've had about every job you can have. Well, working extra jobs through college and through grad school. <laughs> I mean, I've had about every kind of job you can have. But uh, I tell you, uh, uh, why live in a place where it's snowing and it's expensive? 
when you can be, I'm three blocks from the beach. Uh, it's no snow. It's inexpensive. It's affordable. I almost said cheap. And, uh, and uh, you know, you can work online, make some money, make, make American money, and then come down. And, and you're already in Mexico. It, it's fabulous. Working online is great. Jack Webb, I, I'll be working from home there as well. Right on. And we have Crazy Boy Radio in the house from the Baja. Miss Sam is in the house. Hello, Miss Sam. I think she e emailed me last week. I forget why. Okay. So we have uh, those are the videos coming up. Of course, the Kansas City Chiefs won in one of the best Super Bowls I've ever seen. That was the second Super Bowl to go into overtime. And yes, uh, what's her name? Uh, Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. Her, her private jet made it from Tokyo where she was performing the night before. She was at the Super Bowl like two hours before it started. And then her boyfriend and his team came on the field and won in overtime. Oh, and I was rooting for the Chiefs. Oh, that was so cool. That was so cool. Now, also... Uh, Mr. William Mustache Stoneman emailed me this week, and he said, uh, "He said, Bill, um, uh, what's he? I mean, he just emailed me yesterday. And feel free to email me, uh, and if you want to talk, you know, we can set up a time to talk, and I'll answer questions and stuff. I can't imagine if I had like two hundred thousand subscribers, I, 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 I couldn't do it. But uh, he asked me what." is the number one reason William Mustache Stone Man he said what is the number one reason I chose to move to Moralia and the the real the real deal is that it just felt good i mean uh i've been to a lot of places i mean there are so many places in mexico that i have not been to but i've been you guys have seen i mean you guys Dr. John, Jack Webb, Mary Jane, uh, 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 Pretty Boy, Brian Maiden. You guys have been watch watching us live for a couple of years now. You've seen me go here and there. Uh, but Moralia just felt good. It just felt so good. I just picked up such a good vibe. But but to William Stoneman, uh, William Mustache Stoneman, there you go. Okay, I got some I got some things to talk about here. I got to scroll down here, see what's going on. We got people talking. And again, if this is your first time here, first of all, click that subscribe button. We're going to 20,000 subscribers from 10,000. And Crazy Boy Radio, I want to be on your show. Hello from Miss Sam Coco Mango is in the house, Virginia. It's snowing in New York. I hate it. Get the heck out of there. Leave town. Leave town. Screw all that. I love New York stuff. I, I, my sister lived in Manhattan for 10 years. I used to, I used to, I used to know New York, like the back of my hand on the subway, the A train, take the A train. Oh yeah. Get out of there. Come down here where we have trees. Yeah. Tree, we got palm trees down here. Get out of that snow. Uh, Lenora, Jack Webb, what is your wife's job title? If you don't mind, there you go. And uh, we have another contribution to the channel. Here you go, Bill. I like something to help with. What? What, y'all? Oh, oh, I can't sing. I can't sing. I should have been a singer instead of a YouTuber. I, I got skills. I can sing, baby. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I used to play guitar. I gave up the guitar for the flute. But I performed with my guitar in front of like 1,500 people. Got standing ovations on songs that I just wrote the day before. I, I You know, I could be famous like Mick Jagger. But thank you, Mary Jane. And I'll think about that. Uh, those that that stuff. 
Katrina the Maker is here, and it's only 20 after the hour. Happy to see you here, Jacqueline. Push that like button. We got 59 people in the house. Jack Webb, Lenora, she's an RN by training. She uploads the data from our heart patients into the national database. Yes, you can work online. It's so easy now. Uh, when I started working online, I, I was one of the first I was one of the first people on the planet to do screen sharing. And that used to cost, uh, it used to cost me $900 a month for 40 hours of broadcasting. Nine, this is like maybe 30 years ago, something like that. Uh, and, uh, but I was, I was charging people like $150 an hour, but $900 a month for 40 hours of broadcast. Now, Zoom is free. It's easy to work online. Moralia has the best weather in all of Mexico. I'll be there very soon. And Jacqueline, thank you very much for contributing to the channel as well as Ms. Sam. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. I missed, I missed Rudy. Rudy, what's up, man? Uh, got that miracle. Oh, right on. Thank you so much, Rudy. Hey, and if you could, man, uh, uh, <laughs> Rudy and his lovely life and his lovely wife, Sheila, they live like a mile and a half away from me. Uh, and I think right now, Rudy, if I'm not mistaken, you're in Arizona. And uh, if there's any way you could bring down some white castles, uh, with cheese, jalapeno, jalapeno cheese. Well, I, but I don't think you can bring that across the border, actually. Also, Rudy, please email me if you could, because some lady, I think her name is Britannica or something, wants to talk to you and your wife. I, she emailed me. She saw your video, and she wants to talk to you and Sheila and get advice about seniors of seniors, black seniors moving to Mexico. She wants to talk to you guys on the phone. The phone number, that, guys, the phone number that you guys gave me has been disconnected. Okay, you guys moved on. I, that, I think that was your U.S. phone number. Matt, Bill, I experienced my first carnival this week in Ahihika. It was quite the experience. I will never forget flower everywhere, and I mean everywhere. Uh, hey, hey, Mexicans know how to party. Ooh, Lori Butler. Hey, Bill, from Houston, Texas. Happy to see you in the house. Click that subscribe button, girl. Bill, I met up with several folks at a potluck in San Antonio. Ah, he heek. Okay, okay. What was your what what was your family member's name who lives? Oh, okay. Her name, uh, she's she's black. <laughs> Never would have thought that, huh? Yeah, she's black. Uh, she's a little darker than me in complexion. She's she's about two or three years older than me, but she looks like she's twenty years younger than me. And her name is Tulsi Zimmer. She lives in Ahihik. She's a fabulous artist, uh, but that is her name, Tulsi Zimmer. My first cousin, I used to live with her when, uh, when, I, when I was going to grad school at Ohio State. Whatever. Jack Webb, Rudy. I always think of the cool dude named Rudy on the Fat Albert Show. What are the temps and humidities like over there? It's been chilly, and I do want to get to these video clips uh, because they are quite stunning. But uh, um, I think that this morning, uh, I think this morning here in Mazatlan, it was about 52. I think that right now it's probably around 70. It'll go up to 85 today. I bet in Moralia, I bet it, I bet, I bet it gets chilly in Moralia. When I was in Chapala, Ahihik, in February, I'd get up in the morning and it'd be like 47, even in Guadalajara. What shocked me about Guadalajara is 
it would be 47 at night, early in the morning, but then it'd go up to 90 degrees. Uh, just wonderful. Whatever. Now, Mary Jane, hmm, I love me some. Oh, I love White Castles. When I was in sales, the headquarters for White Castle is in Columbus, Ohio. I've been by their headquarters many times. Uh, and uh, they're, they're these little cheeseburgers, or you can get them without cheese. They're small. Uh, oh, they're, 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 you know, they're, they're, you know, they're about that big. It's not like a whopper. And, and on, on their bags, it says buy them by the sack and they're open 24 hours. And all the people that go out and party and drink a lot of alcohol and they're out and they've been at the bar till three o'clock closing time in Columbus, Ohio at three o'clock in the morning, white castle has like a hundred people in line. And, uh, and yeah, they call them cheeseburgers, but also they they call them cheese nasties, just to be rude. And and you could go up and order them. Say, I'll take five cheese nasties and hold the tails, because another nickname for them were rat burgers. But they're so tasty. I love, I love them. Yes. Okay. So let's just keep on cruising here. I got I got a lot to say. Oh, my sister in Columbus, Ohio, thank you so much for contributing to the channel. Please go to White Castle and, and have a treat on me. Thank you so much. Brady, have you lived in Oaxaca or Cuaratera while in Mexico? If so, would you recommend them as, a, as nice places to visit or to live? Um, I've heard great thing about the Q place and I want to visit the Owaxka place and uh, let's, I, I, I want to do something here. Let's try this. Uh, let me turn off because, because you're asking this question. I do want to get to these video clips, uh, but for, for, for people that don't know what you're talking about or what you're asking about, there I am. I live in Mazatlan, over there on the left-hand side, on the ocean. And this go over here. I've been to Durango. You can see that floating through there. Aguas Calientes, you can see there. I've been to Leon. I did a video on uh, Lagos de Moreno. Here's Guanajuato. Here's Guadalajara. I've done many videos on Guadalajara. Chapala Ajijic. There's Lake Chapala right there. I am moving to Moralia, which is over there. Let's zoom out a tad more. Okay, so uh, here is the city that you're talking about right here. And one of the great things about me moving to Moralia is that now I can probably get on the bus and be in the queue place in about two hours. And I want to go there and make a video. My neighbors from my building moved there. They thought it would be cool. They didn't like it, so they moved to Ecuador. Uh, but I will be visiting that place. And here is uh, Oaxaca. And I, yeah, sure, I have to learn how to say it because that's not really Spanish. That is from indigenous Mexico. But you can see that is in southern Mexico. I've heard wonderful things about it. And... Me moving to Moralia up here, I would bet that's about an eight-hour bus ride. I'll probably take a flight there and explore the, the city. But uh, that's that's one of the beautiful things about where I'll be living. I'll be in the middle of Mexico, so I can go to a lot more places. Okay, now I got to move on here to these videos. Um I had a white castle last night. It was good, but smelled up my car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are smelly. That's because they're so tasty. JLD, Bill, we went to the rodeo in Chapala during Carnival, and it was a hoot. They were selling whole bottles of tequila at the event. Yeah, that's, yeah, tequila. yoo -hoo! Hello, Bill. Sorry, I overslept today. That is my new neighbor in 
Moralia David and his wife Maria. I can't get, I can't wait to get up there and meet them. Buenos dias, Senor Lewis from William Stone Man, William Mustache Stone Man. We were talking about you a little while ago, and he emailed me yesterday and asked me uh, why number one reason for moving to Moralia and and Mister Mustache. I said because the town just felt so good. Okay, now. Um, now I'm going to move to some video clips and I'm going to show you some video clips about Mazatlan that I don't think any of you have ever seen uh, what I'm about to show you. And I'm going to say that most of the gringos that, uh, that live in Mazatlan have never seen any of this. I've lived in Mexico for 20 years. What I'm about to show you, I have never seen anything like this since I've been in Mexico. Uh, but to, but to, get, to give, before I show you the video clips, um, there's a guy in my building. His name is Brent. He's a great guy. And uh, he lives about... Uh, two stories down. He says, Bill, uh, I'd like to talk to you. And, and he's a subscriber, watches my videos. He says, Bill, I have questions about, he's Canadian. Most, most of the gringos in my, in my building are Canadians. So he says, I have questions about having my Canadian passport and my Mexican passport. Oh, no. Oh, oh he says, why should I get a Mexican passport? So I, so I said, oh, we set an appointment. I go down to the room. We're talking. And he's he's a member of this church in our neighborhood. It's about two miles away from here. I forget the name of it. Um, I, I'm going to post the video. I'm going to show you some clips now. And when I post the video, I'm going to give you all the contact number numbers for the church and uh, the donation numbers and all that. But uh, but but he he says, yeah, you you, you got to come. Uh, we make this tour and they call it the compassion tour. Uh, and, and he told me about the work that they're doing. I mentioned a little of this last week. They're building a filtration system so that kids can drink clean water, uh, so that kids can have water fountains. And so that, let's get right to some of these clips. Here we go. Okay, so um, one. Oh, oh, here we go. There's Brent right there. That's Brent. And this is his church, which is in a neighborhood called the Golden Zone. And we're there at 8 o'clock in the morning. The Golden Zone is a hot spot for bars and restaurants. And I think this church used to be uh, a restaurant or something like that. Um, and what they're doing now, now they're inside. I, I'm, I'm going to take you through this tour. Uh, but this is the, this, this is the golden zone. There is a picture of their church and you'll see the water fountain right there in the middle water fountain. And they, they've created a filtration system so that they want to put 100 of these water fountains into uh, schools around the Mazatlan area. Water fountains are very rare in Mexico. I can only remember seeing two water fountains since I've been in Me Mexico. So, so Brent told me about this trip. Uh, it's called the camp, the, the, uh, the compassion tour and and what they do is they they own a bus this church has been very successful i'm going to mess up some facts here but i think they've been doing what they do for about 27 years and they have i think two or three community centers in economically challenged areas around Mazatlan. and so twice a week they have a bus people bottom a bus uh, they own their church, uh, 
and and they get on a bus and they make five stops. And at these stops, oh, what you're going to see in a second is uh, they're they're going to they're they're going to have water. They have bottled water. Let's let's look at some bottled water here. Let's see. Okay, you, you oh, and and they're going to make. They're gonna. Those are sandwiches. They're going to make uh, four hundred of those, and you can see the bottled water there. And we're gonna make five stops, and everywhere we stop, everyone will get a bottle of water, a freshly made tuna fish salad sandwich, and and uh, uh, yeah, and an orange. So and and this bottled water, they're making the bottled water right there, and that water is clean water coming right out of their filtrations. And that's Russell. He lives in my building. I couldn't believe it. I, you know, I had no clue he would be there. He always says hello. He's always very friendly. But that's Russell, and uh, and so they're getting ready for the trip. So so now. Now, here are all the bottles of water. We're going to put that stuff on their bus. And here is the bus. And here's the name of their church. The name of their church is called the Missions, the Mission of Compassion. Uh, La Bina. I don't I guess that means the Vineyard Church. It's about two miles from where I live. We are going to... Uh, Oh, we got a little, uh oh, oh, okay. Here they are bringing these sandwiches. That is Hector. Hector is like a helper. And uh, he's going to take those sandwiches and put them on the bus. And there you go. We're loading up the bus. And we're going to give these, uh, we're going to be out for four or five hours making five or six stops on this bus. Okay, now... Oh, no, I skipped something. Ah, here we go. Here we go. And these are all volunteers making the sandwiches fresh that morning. Uh, uh, they hit the bread place where the bread is fresh very early in the morning. Uh, you can see all of the vegetables are fresh. They buy all that stuff. And, and if you watch, this is like a factory line. Uh, they're, they're cutting the bread open, putting in the, the tuna fish salad. The, and then they got ladies putting all of this in little bags and uh, tie the bags to seal them shut. And they have two rooms of people doing this. Two rooms of people putting these sandwiches together. Okay, now, and then, then they're going to take these and put them on the bus. And uh, and and this, this bus is quite extensive. You can see there's not a lot of people on the bus. And you can call them up if you want to take the, the Compassion Tour. It's well worth it and as in a second i'm going to show you some video clips that may be disturbing for some people uh where we stop and where we give up the sandwiches but the key to this whole thing his name is walter and i i, I think he said he's from chicago though he i think he has a canadian uh united states passports and he's been doing this I think he's lived in Mazatlan for 11 years, but while we're on the bus, he, 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 plus he used to give travel tours in Mazatlan. So he knows a lot about the city. So, uh, the main thing that he tells all of us is our main goal here is to be happy and to give hugs. We're happy and we give hugs. And in a minute, you're going to see some more clips and you're going to see Walter very happy being around a lot of people, a lot of children, a lot of families, and he's going to be happy and giving hugs as uh, we pass out the sandwiches and the water bottles. So let me get back to comments, and then 
I'm going to show you some more stuff. Let's see. Yes. Uh, da, da, da. I think I missed a lot of stuff. We got uh, Buenos Dias, Senior Leo. Virginia. Is there a major airport in Mor Moralia? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. Terry Don Marshall. Hola, Terry D Don. Terry Don, we spent a fabulous. Uh, we spent a fabulous hour together yesterday, and we'll be putting up your videos in about 10 days. Ray Garcia, Kretara, not that colonial, and Owaxka, too impoverished for my taste. But both are nice to visit for a week. Very good. People with experience in those cities. Virginia, yes, there is internet. Yes, MLM airport and uh i need to get william stone i have a map that shows everywhere he's been in mexico i need to i need to have that map ready for every saturday he's been everywhere uh but williams william mustache stone man has been everywhere almost everywhere in mexico and matt brazelton thank you so much for contributing to the channel. That's going to buy me. Uh, in fact, that'll buy me two tamales. That's two days worth of food. Thank you so much. Iana Gonzalez. Hola, Bill. Love your vid videos. It is so inspiring to see your journey in Mexico. I watched your videos about things to do in Mazatlan, and now I want to move there. Um, Thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have clicked that subscribe button. Mazatlan is fabulous. Uh, I would prefer to live in a, in a El Centro. This week I'm going to Juarez. Juarez is a community. It's a Mexican community in Mazatlan. I want to go check that out. I bet I could find a a nice apartment there for about $400 a month. But thank you so much for your kind words. And thank you for watching our videos. Jack Webb, Bill, Pam and I just started using a home water distillation machine to use. Lugging five gallon jugs of water is getting old. Our days of lifting, drinking water are over. No more plastic bottles. And this is, is an issue if you move to Mexico. Everywhere I, I, uh, what I've been here 18 years, I could never drink water out of the kitchen sink. But when I got to Chapala, it was a brand new house. And for $20 a month, uh, people will come in, they'll put in a filtration system. Uh, then you can drink water anywhere in the house, depending on what you pay them to do as far as the, how, how the system is going to function. So if you're going to build a house in Mexico or even rent, let's say you're going to rent for a year, you can put in a filtration system so you can actually drink water out of the faucet. Uh, Brian Maiden. God bless all these people who's helping the less fortunate. Oh, Brian Maiden, just wait until I show you some of these clip clips. But yes, God bless these people. Jacqueline, is there a program like that in GDL? Uh, that's a very good question. Let me think about that. And Jacqueline, uh, tell me something. Have, have you joined the expat? group in Guadalajara on Facebook, because I bet if you go to Facebook groups and then search for Guadalajara expats, um, you, that, that's, that's the best thing about Facebook is finding out information through their Facebook groups. I'm not a big Facebook fan for political reasons, but uh, I use them. I use their Facebook groups all the time. But go to Facebook, go to Facebook groups, search for uh, Guadalajara expats. I'm a member of their Facebook group and ask somebody there. Okay, let's get back and check out some more of these videos. 
Um, um, this was uh, the guy that I showed you, Brent. Uh, uh, I, he has a girlfriend. It's, it's she's like a new girlfriend, <laughs> and she she drove us over to the church from where we live. She lives in our building, also. I got in her car. It was brand new. And uh, it was some kind of like super race car car. It looked like it was like I thought it was in a spaceship. It was brand new. It was probably a seventy thousand dollar car. Okay, uh, and uh, we're we're driving over there. Thought, oh yeah, I'm going. She's Canadian. Oh yeah, I'm going back to Canada. I'm going to get me a new Mustang and da 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 da. And and the trip. I'm going to show you videos of this trip. They're coming up in a second. But Brent asked her, so are you going with us today? She said, no, I can't. I can't handle that today. And I, I didn't know what she was talking about. Uh, uh, he says, are you going to get on the bus with us today? She said, no, I can't handle that. I can't handle that today. And I'm thinking, what? You can't handle a bus ride? So so in a second, you're going to see what I'm talking about. Here we go. Here we go. So. We're cruising through Mazatlan, and here we go. Then uh, you've seen my neighborhood, the swimming pool. You've seen my views from my deck. Of course, OXO is everywhere. It's like 7-Eleven, 12,000 of them in Mexico. But then... All of the built. Look at the look at the buildings now. This is Mazatlan. Uh, I'd never seen anything like this. But check this out. Then this is Mazatlan. Then all of a sudden, you start seeing dirt streets and the houses and yards suddenly start to look different. This is about three miles from El Centro, at the most four miles. And um, uh, uh, people, we made five or six stops, and the people know that we're coming. And I'm going to I'm going to show this next clip. And they always stop for this one guy. He he's in this video only for like a few seconds at the at the beginning of the video. He's in a wheelchair, and they always stop and give him a sandwich, an orange, and a bottle of water. Here he is. There he is, right there. He's waving. He's got his sandwich and his bottled water. And we're four miles away from El Centro. We're about six miles from where I live. Um. There you go. This is this is another form of lifestyle in Mazatlan that I had never seen until two days ago. Dirt streets, small homes, uh, totally different than than what you're going to see on a tour. And so we're going to go to we're going to make about four or five stops, and at our first stop. Here we go. We get off with the bus and the, there's a line of children and some women and a dog, a couple of dogs. There's the bus. There's the community that we are in. And we're just in line uh, or they're in line just waiting for a sandwich and some bottled water. I, I wonder what kind of water. Uh, these people drink. Do they have bottled water? Or are they drinking bottles out of the spigot? But it's just a different, a different lifestyle. And uh, there's the bus. And this is one of their centers in this community that they have built. Uh, they also have created schools. They have introduced kids in these neighborhoods to the concept of college. They have had children that have gone through their schools that have become psychiatrists and doctors. 
uh, going to their schools. And I think their schools are free. I think it's kind of hard to get in. Uh, and there's Walter. There's Walter. Walter's just there spreading the love, spreading the joy. Uh, look at him. He's been doing this for a long time. He knows that lady with the little baby. Um, and, uh, 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 and sometimes people will pick up the babies and smile, give people a sandwich. Okay. Now here we go. Jack Webb. What are you talking about? To disclose, we, we do have a reverse osmosis system in our home in SAT. But this distiller is cheaper, involves a little bit of work, but not bad. Ryan. Hi, Bill. Ryan from Alaska. I don't think we've ever had anybody on Saturday from Alaska. Uh, welcome. We, we, we welcome you. Uh, I appreciate your videos and tips and just enjoy watching you. I will be taking my first trip to Mazatlan in April. That's an that's a okay time to come. Uh, 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 tourists come from October 15th, and then they leave April 15th, because after April 15th, it kind of heats up here. But yeah, you get here in April, it should be a good time. The weather should be great. Thanks for leaving us a me message. Jacqueline, yes, I am all, I am on all of the groups and I'm on their WhatsApp groups as well. Thank you. Thank you. Brian Maiden, this video reminds me of the video that my son does when he goes to Cu Cuba to help. Heartbreaking. It's these people are living. Thank you, Brian. These people live. Um, uh, it's not El Centro. Uh, uh, and I've lived, uh, and I, I need to make my life part of these people's lives. Uh, but this, let's continue here. Okay. Um, oh, now this guy, check out this guy, Elijah. His name is Elijah. He speaks fluent English. And so he's, he's sitting next to. He's sitting next to me on the bus. He comes up and, and he is a, uh, he's an intern with the church. And I didn't know, I didn't know what they meant when they said intern. Uh, but he, he's an intern with the church and he'll be with them for one year. And he speaks fluent Spanish and fluent English. And I said, so you're an intern or where do you go to college? He said, no, I don't go to college. This is a uh, religious internship. He says, I'm from Virginia. <laughs> oh, that's funny. He says, I'm from Virginia. I'll, I'll, I'll be here for three months, but my church in Virginia, he said that the universe told him to go to Mazatlan and, and give this place three months. So he's with them. He works with kids and helps them distribute. A very smart young man. But uh, that was a trip. Okay, now, now we're going to move a step forward here on the trip. We're going to move a step. Oh, and also about Elijah, you never know who you're going to meet in Mexico. Okay, so, so now we're going to go to the dump. In fact, they call this the uh, the compassion tour, uh, the tour to the dump. This is Mazatlan's garbage place. I think all of the garbage from Mazatlan goes to this place. So what you're going to see here is people at the dump and what they do to earn money is they go through the dump and they find recyclables. They find cans, plastics, put them in bags, and they do this all week. So everybody that you're going to see walking around is out collecting recyclables. Um, oh, and, and they do this like six days a week. They do it all day, and most of them earn about uh, Walter said 
our, our guide, he said most of the people make about 1,200 pesos a week, which is like $70. So they, so they, they collect recyclables in the dump and that earns them about $70 a week working six days a week. So now we're going to drive up and for what it's worth, for what it's worth, we have, um, we have, uh, 68 people in house, 36 likes, uh, click the like button, click the, click the like button. Yeah. Yeah. Click the like button. Give it a shot. If you got an extra finger in front of your computer, click the like button. Okay. So we're on the bus and we're headed for the dump. And this is the beginning of the dump. And Walter, they've got a speaker system in this bus. And he's saying, now these tires have been here for years. Uh, what well, you know, like, why don't they recycle the tires? And you can see it's raining. Uh, so because it's raining, there weren't that many people out uh, getting their sandwiches. But here is the dump. Uh, we're on the bus. This is the dump. Uh, but we haven't gotten to the place where we're going to stop. And all of those blue bags... Those are those are that stuff that is ready to be uh, recycled. So trucks come in and they buy these blue bags from the people that are working. Uh, and Walter said that they take these blue bags to Guadalajara, which doesn't make any sense to me. But here we go. So now we get off the bus. We're at the dump. You can see all the birds flying around, all the garbage. And this is called the Compassion Tour. And there's a guy. It's raining, so he's got that little blue bag around him. But And, and you can see some people walking around with blue bags. These guys are collecting recyclables cans, plastic, anything that they can uh, anything that they can get recycled. So all those guys are and and they they don't work for the dump. They're all like self-employed, so to speak. Uh, people of all ages, of all genders, just out there, uh, you know, just trying to make a living, uh, trying to earn some cash. There you go. Uh, got dogs out there. Okay. Yep. And, oh, and you can see those guys. They're like drinking the water and eating the sandwiches. And they, 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 they come over to the bus. Everybody out there working comes over to the bus, gets a sandwich, a bottle of water, an orange. And uh, we're just smiling, saying, how you doing? It's just, uh, there you go. There's Brent with some water bottles and we're handing out sandwiches. Just uh, spreading, the, spreading the joys of living in Mexico. That is the last video clip that I have. And now some people take this tour regularly and they bring candy and they bring toys for the kids. And so, so some people uh, not only get uh, a bottle of water, but they also get, um, they might get some toys. They might get some toys or they might get some candy. And Walter was telling them, well, don't, yeah, now, now when we make these stops, don't give the kids too much candy. Uh, but anyway, this I have I have never experienced anything like this in my entire experience in Mexico. Though I'm from Columbus, Ohio, and if you go to Cincinnati and drive to this place called Portsmouth, Ohio, uh, that drive is going to take you like an hour from Cincinnati to Portsmouth, and you're going to drive. I think it's Route 52. You go down the Ohio River. 
uh, people down that road in Ohio are living in about the same type of environment. So whatever, but uh, I'll be putting up that video. I'll be putting up that video on Thursday of this week. And I have to hook up with Brent so he can give me details about uh, that place in depth. Okay, let's get back to messages. Let's see what's going on. Uh huh. Okay. Matt Brazelton, thank you for sharing the videos. I witnessed some, something similar outside of Chapala when I hopped on the round, when I hopped on the wrong bus. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to El Central, huh, Matt? And you end up, hey, man. Uh, but Brent said, Brent said, have you, have you seen all of the gringos senior citizens down at the bars every afternoon? He says, he says, this, this program gives something for retired seniors down here, something to do, something positive to do, work with families, work with kids, you know, make the world a better place. Jacqueline. Let's get the likes up, everyone. Thank you so much. We got 65 people in the house and 39 likes. We got some dollarinis and contributions. Uh, and feel free to ask any questions. Brady, what is the frequency of that mission operation? Daily, weekly, etc. Okay, they're open. Uh, the church is open. I, I don't know how. I don't know the hours of the church and he told us the hours and everything, but they do the compassion tour. I think every Tuesday and Thursday and they don't charge anything for you to take the tour and then you can, and you can uh, pass out food with them. Uh, they did uh, take contributions for the four or five hour bus ride uh, and I saw, I saw, and 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 uh, Walter just puts his baseball hat down on front of the bus and says, "Okay, on your way out, just you can leave a contribution in my baseball hat." He leaves, but you know, I I put in some money, and uh, uh, somebody had put in like a thousand pesos, that's like ninety dollars, right on, man. But they have they have contributors. That, but anyway, to answer your question, Tuesdays and Thursdays in high season. Uh, he said, and high season is uh, October 15th to April 15th. Uh, then the gringos leave town. So you don't have as many people that want to take the tour. Then they, ta then they have van trips instead of the bus. They'll use a van. Verlaine, I would love to volunteer at a place like this. Thank you, Bill, for sharing it. It was, it was awesome. It was a wonderful experience. Uh, and all the loving people that were, were volunteering, it was uh, fabulous. Ray Garcia, those are the honest people of the world that rather live in poverty and make an honest life. Very good. Very good. Yes, very good. Thank you, Ray. We got 66 people in the house. We got 40 likes. The likes are going up. We got a bunch of comments. Uh, and if you're new here, if you haven't clipped this, if you have any questions, ask away. Um, this week uh, on Wednesday, they have this market in a place called Juarez. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to walk through the Pueblo of, of Juarez. I'm going to go into their market. They say it's fabulous, but it's, it's, I, I think it's more, it's, it's not like El Centro. El Centro Mazatlan is, it's, it's the bomb. I love El Centro. Very clean, lots of restaurants and bars and museums and, and uh, cathedrals. But it's uh, that's the tourist place. Um, Juarez, I think you could find a very affordable apartment in Juarez, which is like three or four miles from El Centro. But uh, 
I, I don't think you're going to see many Canadians or Americans living there, which means the prices are going to be lower. Hola, buck stops here. Hola, Bill and amigos. Hola, the buck stops here. Welcome. Let's see what else is on the list here. Um, I'm just happy that this week that the internet is working. I'm so happy that the internet is working. Uh, and I ain't proud. I ain't proud. Feel free to donate. I've been asking, uh, I've been watching a lot of other YouTube channels, uh, especially the Midas touch to keep up to keep up on the uh, Donald Trump situation. But uh, I mean, we I, I've seen YouTubers out there, the Midas touch, they have two million subscribers. <laughs> I mean, you get the two million subscribers. You make, I mean, they get more views than Fox News series. I mean, they get, that's how many views they get. And at the end of all of their view to videos, they always say, oh, yeah, and, uh, join us on da -da -da -da. Yeah, you got to pay for it. It's, it's a membership and all that kind of stuff. But what? You got two million, two million. And they say, oh, oh, and they say, they always say, oh, we don't have a, we don't have a uh, sponsor. No corporations are paying for this. And, and NPR does it, too. So feel free to donate. All right. OK, now. Oh, stranger. We got stranger in the house. Good morning from Los Angeles. May see you in Moralia in August. I'll be there. I will be there in August. When you get there, look me up. You got my email address. I'll be there. And by there, by August, I should know a few things. I will have been there for about 45 days by then. Always great to see everybody show up in the house. Let's see what else is going on here. Mary Jane. Thanks, Bill, for turning me on to the Midas Touch. I tell you what, the Midas Touch is the bomb. It's three. There are three key attorneys. One is an attorney and a law professor. That's Ben. Then there's this female attorney. Her name is Karen. She's been doing law for about 27 years in Manhattan. She's also a consultant for a uh, uh, for a uh, a TV show. It's one of those cop detective shows, but she's their attorney consultant for that. But they show you all the documentation, like what yesterday Trump. Uh, was by Judge N. Gorin was ordered to pay $370 million. And they show you all the documents, the legal documents, point by point, count by count, and explain what is what. And they do this for all the Trump trials. So, so you, you, it is, and it's not like ABC, NBC, CBS. I mean, they, they get into the details and explain, oh, well, this, oh, okay, now, uh, so Trump, Trump likes to delay things. So this judgment yesterday uh, for the $370 million, which turns out to be $550 million with, with the interest that is being charged. So if he could delay that like any other, like this, like any other trial, uh, then he wouldn't have to pay. But on the Midas touch, they share with you that, well, in this case, in this situation, uh, he can delay the trial and set it up for appeal, but he has to pay a bond on the amount of money that he owes. And, and those are just the little tips because I wonder, well, is he going to pay? Is he going to delay? He might have to pay this in like 10 years or something like that. No, but it's all, all these little tips and, and detail by detail and detail so that when you get into a conversation, you know the reality of things, as opposed to some people that are just totally uninformed, don't know anything. They don't know the legal aspects of anything, and they're going to try to share their reality with you. I'd love some reality. Now, let's go over here. Let's see what's going on over here. 
Brian, does the cable system in Mexico carry only English channels from America or Canada? Uh, Brady, that is an excellent question. I am so glad that you ask. I am so glad you asked that question. Um, uh, the service that I have right now, well, it's called Mega Cable. <laughs> there are a bunch of cable services down here. Uh, Mega Cable. Oh, they have Telecable down here. I had that in Puerto Vallarta. And my cable, I think I can get about 45 channels. Uh, I'm going to say, it. when I was in Puerto Vallarta, I got 70 channels. I'm going to say half of them were in English. You know, they got the movie channels. You can pay extra. You can get HBO. Uh, but but they have the regular movie kind of channels. Uh, I, when I say regular movie channels, um, uh, you know, those free movie channels. You can see movies, and they're all in English. And they have other movie channels that are all in Spanish. If you're a soccer fan, if you're a soccer fan, you can probably watch soccer 24 seven down here. Okay. Now let me take a step back. My neighbor, Pam, she's 72. Her mom lives down here. Her mom's been here for 35 years. Her mom is like 94, 95 smoke cigarettes like a chimney. But anyway, uh, she has some kind of little stick. She told me the name of it, but she plugs that into her television and she can get 30,000 channels internationally for $9 a month. So as far as cable goes, you have many options. Maybe it's Roku, Roku, Roku something like that. So down and so with with what she has with 30,000 channels, she gets for $9 a month. She gets stuff from all over the planet. Anything she wants to watch. For me, I watched the Super Bowl last week and I never watched television. I had to figure out how to do it, but I got Mega Cable. So I found the Super Bowl, you know, watched the Super Bowl live, but uh they got all the cable TV stuff down here that you could ever want or possibly need okay now uh wait a minute wait a minute oh, the buck the buck stops here a dude from texas visited aguas calientes recently and while he was there the earthquake occurred wow he wasn't hurt but i was wondering do earthquakes occur regularly on the pacific side of the country um, I don't know. I don't know. The first earthquake, let me think about, oh yeah, 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 yeah. When I was in Puerto Vallarta, I was in my apartment, there was an earthquake and my, uh, my, uh, flat TV was, was on a hook on the wall and it fell down and crashed and broke it all up. That was freaky. Yeah, in Puerto Vallarta, hurricanes and earthquakes. Years ago, there was a major earthquake in the center of Mexico, in Mexico City. And that was disastrous. I think thousands of people died. When I lived in Guadalajara for four or five years, I was in this house and there was an earthquake. All the people in the house ran out to the street. They knew exactly what to do. They just ran out to the street. I'm, I was up in my office, you know, working on the, they said, Bill, come out, come out to the street. It's an earthquake. So I, so I'm not familiar with the total uh, stuff going on about earthquakes in Mexico, but I've experienced them in Puerto Vallarta and Guadalajara. A ma major earthquake did happen for sure that killed thousands of people in Mexico city and pretty boy, Brian Maiden. Thank you so much. As always, and for you regular contributors, thank you so much. Uh, this this helps us pay the rent, buy equipment, take trips. Thank you so much. As always, I listen to I listen to you. Here is my money. That's funny. Thanks for those videos. Thank you. Thank you so much, Brian. Ms. Sam. 
It feels like colonialization to me. This is what people do. They are missionaries designed to give poor people religion. Yeah, I, I mean, you know, it's it's you know, I'm uh my my personal religion is freelance. <laughs> that that's my religion. I'm I'm freelance. I've been studying my undergraduate uh, second degree at Dartmouth College is Christian mysticism, and that's the study of all the Christ, all the Christian mystics that the churches, the Catholic Church, the Baptist Church, they don't talk about these people. They're they're people who are meditating and and floating up in the air in convents and stuff like that. They don't, <coughs> they don't even talk about these these people. But uh, but I had a mentor that introduced me to Buddhism, Hinduism, Hare Krishna. I've been studying this stuff for years. So, but my my view on religion is what they call the golden strand. They have a book. It's called the Golden Bow, and they talk about the golden strand of love that is at the bottom of all religions. So I don't, I don't jo join up with anybody. But yeah, I was I you know. I don't know these missionaries. Um, I I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. That's all I can say. But I do like working with kids. If, if I could work with some kids and help somebody out, that would be cool. Soy milk is milk introduce is milk introducing itself in Spanish. Think about it. Okay. Oh, uh, that's funny. I am milk. Soy, that's funny. Soy milk. Soy, soy is from the verb ear. And uh, ear, uh, I are, uh, I am is soy. I am. Soy Bill Dallas Lewis. Soy, that's funny. Soy milk. Okay, red ring. Let's move right along here. What's the deal with gators on the PV beach? Yes, they have alligators in Puerto Vallarta, uh, all over Puerto Vallarta, on the beach and on the golf course. And people have taken their dogs to the golf course, and some of their dogs have been eaten by the gators. So you got to be careful. You're in the jungle. Just watch your back. Ah, hola. I don't know how to say I don't know how to say your name. I know there I know there is at least one earthquake a week in the Pacific coast of Oaxaca. In 2017, 20, 2017 been a strong one. Yeah, earthquakes, nature is something. David, what do you got to say? I watched the Super Bowl in Spanish. Uh the commercials are a lot uh, different and and David, uh, the Super Bowl. Um, oh man, it, it was like okay, okay. So I didn't know, I didn't even know how to connect my cable because I have a Chromecast connected, so I had to unplug that and put in the cable, then get mega cable, then I had to find Super Bowl on the schedule. And I don't, I don't, you know, you have to get that little remote and I'm just clicking around on the road and by accident I got to, I found oh look the Super Bowl they have a program and I chose Super Bowl and there it was and it was all in English the pre bowl the, the pregame show was in English and the whole game was the English broadcast and they were broadcasting on ESPN3 I was shocked <laughs> Because, yeah, they broadcast it in Spanish, which is kind of a drag. I mean, you know, you know, because, uh, you know, football is an American sport. It's an English sport. You know, you got to know that, you know, so if people are speaking Spanish and and you learn the terms and everything and, and they know their football in Mexico, the announcers and everything. But, uh, David, I was so happy that the whole thing was in English. Yes. Matt Brazelton, Brady Odom. If you get on Am Fire Stick, you can get access to all streaming apps like Netflix, Hulu. There you go, a Fire Stick. That's what my neighbor has. Thank you. 
And this is what we do here when we go live on Saturdays at 10 a.m. We we share the love. We share the love. That is what we do. Um, and we share information. What's going on over here? Well, let's go back to comments. Uh, yeah, fire stick is what my neighbor said she has. Okay. Uh, deep think now. Yes, everyone tends to think their religion is the one. Their... Eight billion of us, and something just happened on my. Oh, what happened? Wait, hold on a second. Oh, there we go. Uh, oh, there, there are eight billion of us, and the majority, those disagree with any one of us. And let me put this over. Maybe it'd be e easier to read if I did that. Yes, and that's uh, that's that's another thing. It's like. You know, people are into their religion. So why are you Catholic? Because you were born in this town with this family. And so you, you take it all serious. But what if you were born in India, you know, with this family? Well, you take that really serious. What if you were born in like Nigeria? Well, you, you know, so whatever, whatever. The buck stops here. Wow. Okay. Yay. Okay. Brady, thank you. I asked the question because I'm a big sports fan who watches the Detroit sports teams regularly through Sunday, ticket and league pass. Yeah, you can get all that down here. And there are ways to get it down here for free, from what I understand. Pretty boy Brian Maiden, last year while I was there in Ahihik, there was an earthquake it was a little scary, but major center was located in Colima. <clears throat> and Colima, uh, let's take a look at the map. For those people that don't know, I have done videos on Colima, but here it is right here, Colima. It's south. Colima is south of Puerto Vallarta. So Brian was in Ahihik. And Ahihik is right over here on the northern part of Lago de Chapala, which is Lake Chapala. And Lago de Chapala is the largest lake in Mexico called Lake Chapala. And that's where Ahihik, Chapala, and Hoco Tepec are. So the epicenter for that was down here in Colima. <clears throat> okay. All right. Let's see if anybody else... Has anything to say? Okay. Well, everybody, uh, let me check my list here. Um, I'm putting up a video tomorrow morning with Marsha Harrington. I'm going to put up that church video on Thursday. Uh, I'm going to take a trip to Juarez, which I'm really interested in to see what that's like. It, it's a a suburb, so to speak, or a section of Mazatlan. Uh, because I, I bet you could live in Juarez, which is a suburb of Mazatlan, for probably like three or $400 a month. Okay, now here we go. Red Wing, Red Wing Blackbird Films. Nine more months until I retire to Rocky Point, Mexico. Puerto Penasco municipality in the northwest of the Mexican state of Sonora. Woohoo! Come on down. Enjoy yourself. It's like Tom Petty says, you don't have to live like a refugee. Uh, I love living in Max Mexico, and and uh, uh, I love it. Amigos, I've never been in an earthquake and don't know what. I would do when I experience an earthquake. I've always wandered about, wondered about these things. Seems like more earthquakes occur in Mexico than in the USA. I remember, <coughs> I remember when I was going to grad school in uh, in Columbus, Ohio. I was sleeping in my little ghetto apartment, 
And all of a sudden, the floor started rumbling and everything. It was an earthquake in Columbus, Ohio. They have earthquakes, and they have a lot of earthquakes on the West Coast, specifically Los Angeles and San Francisco. It's on the San Andreas Fault. I mean, that whole that whole country's one day they're going to have a big earthquake, and the whole place is going to disappear, drop into the ocean, and what's left is going to be Prime real estate property. People are going to make a lot of money. Okay. Yeah, Brian, I'm getting ready to get out of here myself. Thank you for another great Saturday morning. Hope you and all in the house have a great weekend. Brian, thank you so much for showing up and leaving comments and contributing to the channel again. Thank you so much. David, I'm told we have had about six or seven earthquakes since I've been here, but I only felt one. There you go. Okay, everybody. <clears throat> well, I'm, I'm at the bottom of my list. And for those of you, please click that subscribe button. And please, on the way out, click the like button. If you're watching the replay of this video and you would like to donate, to the channel. Um, oh, in the description below, you can click a link down there. You can use PayPal, Visa, MasterCard, or American Express to contribute during the replay. Next week, I think I'm going to go to Juarez. I'm going to take the bus from my place to Juarez Market. And so I should have video clips about that market. I'm going to walk around the neighborhood a bit, get a feel for it, and let you guys see what's going on with that. Be sure to check out Marsha Harrington when I put up that video in the morning. And that's it. Feel free, uh, feel free to email me. Um, you can find my contact information at buildageek.org. <laughs> Some people like to call me. If you would, if you can, email me first and set up a time to talk. But uh, all is good. Still love Mexico right now. It's probably about 70 degrees outside. There's not a cloud in the sky. It's February. It's February. I'm from Ohio. In February, it's got snow on the ground. Snow's dirty. You got to scrape your windows. People have snow scrapers in their cars. Where Dr. John is, he's in Pennsylvania. I know if he has to go somewhere with his grandkids, he got to get the, the windshield scraper out, do some scraping. Maybe maybe push the car, get some neighbors to push the car out of the driveway. Got to, you know, people having heart attacks, dying from snuggling, snuggling snow. But anyway, that's all I've got for today. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see what's going on. Let me click a couple of buttons here. So thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thanks each and every one. Happy Valentine's day. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for clicking the like button. Thank you for contributing to the channel. I'm Bill the Geek broadcasting live from Mazatlan, Mexico. We make videos. This is Bill Dallas Lewis. We make videos about the joys of living in Mexico. Adios, hasta luego, and que te vaya bien.